What's up guys, it's Braden with Overland Outfitters, back with another Frequently Asked Friday, cause uh, it's Friday. Hey, it was going that way, I was like, oh sweet, I'll go this way, I'll look at dope. So today I just wanted to talk about a pretty basic question and that's aluminum versus steel armor. We get asked that question quite a lot and I think that there's definitely pros and cons so it really depends on how you use your vehicle, which way you wanna go. For most things. Some things, there's only one way to go. So we'll get into that. Aluminum is great because it's light and it doesn't rust. That's really important for an area like here in BC where they salt the roads every winter. However, on the downside, aluminum is quite a lot more expensive than steel and it's also not as strong. And typically if you're stressing or like bending aluminum a lot, it tends to crack. So with all the vibrations of vehicles in certain situations, aluminum is not gonna be the best bet. Steel on the other hand, has the benefits of being cheaper, stronger, and easier to work with. So if you are the kind of person that wants to get in there with your own welder and make your own stuff and weld it on, then steel is definitely gonna be much easier than aluminum would be. The downside of steel is that it rusts and it's heavier, but uh, the big one is that it rusts. And if you're in a very rust prone area, that could be an issue. However, almost all of your vehicles made out of steel. So, or at least the frame is for sure. And we all know about Toyota frame rust issues. So as long as you take care of the steel, keep it clean, keep it painted, you won't have too many issues. There's a lot of different kinds of armor that you can get for your vehicle. We're talking front bumpers, rear bumpers, skids, sliders, all of it. And it really depends on how you use your vehicle and which piece of armor we're talking about, which way you should go, whether aluminum or steel. So let's just start at the front of the vehicle and work our way back. <laughs> so up front, you got your front bumper. Here, it's great to save weight. The more weight you can save in the front, the better. However, if you're planning to use your bumper a lot, either doing winching or recoveries, getting pulled from the front, then aluminum isn't gonna handle the stress, at least from my experience. I actually had an aluminum bumper on my truck and it's been bent and cracked a couple times because of hard pulls. So steel is definitely gonna be a lot stronger if you plan on just smashing into stuff. Okay, moving under the vehicle, we got your skid plates. Skid plates is pretty similar to the front bumper. It's an awesome spot to save weight but if you plan on smashing your truck onto rocks and dragging it over obstacles all the time, it's just not gonna handle it. You're gonna bend them, you're gonna crack them. And another thing about aluminum is that it tends to be kind of sticky on rocks. Like it, it gouges and gets stuck. It doesn't just slide nicely over like steel does. So if you're planning on wheeling pretty hard and you expect to use your skids, I would probably go with steel. Whereas if you're just trying to protect yourself from an accidental hit or bad line choice, aluminum will work just fine and it'll be really great to save that weight and not worry about rust under your truck. So getting into sliders, I could absolutely never recommend aluminum sliders to anybody. I couldn't even call them sliders. I would call them glorified sidesteps. I've seen steel sliders bend under hard hits and an aluminum slider would have stood no chance at all. It would have just gone straight into the door. Especially if you wanna use your sliders for a high lift point where you can jack up the side of your vehicle, which is a great reason to have sliders. Aluminum will just bend. It just won't even support the weight of the vehicle. Another reason not to have aluminum sliders is like what I talked about before. Aluminum doesn't like to slide. It likes to gouge and get stuck on obstacles. And I mean, they're called sliders for a reason because they're meant to, to slide. Finally, for the rear bumper, I think there's a reason that there's not very many brands making aluminum rear bumpers. The rear bumper just suffers the most abuse out of anything. 
It just gets dragged over rocks all the time. It gets hooked on stuff. It gets yanked on when you're doing a recovery or you yank on it when you're recovering somebody else. Also, if you ever tow or have a bike rack or anything like that into the hitch of the bumper, aluminum just wouldn't do it. It would just be all mangled and bent and cracked very, very quickly. So unless your truck's just for show, an aluminum rear bumper is just a really bad idea. So to wrap it all up, basically aluminum is a great option if you just want something light that you don't have to worry about and it's there just in case. But if you actually plan on really smashing your truck, which not everybody does, then steel is definitely the way to go. And as you move back on the vehicle, the further back you go, the more important it is to have steel. So sliders and the rear bumper should definitely be steel. But that's just what I've experienced having run both steel and aluminum. I wanna know what your thoughts are. Have you run both? What's your experience? Is it more important to have it lightweight or is it more important to have the strength? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of our frequently asked questions, make sure that you subscribe. I hope I see you in the next one. See you later.